Good morning and welcome to Renew, a daily devotion for you. My name is Nick Palco. I'm a member of the College and Career Group here at Mainland Baptist Church. The title of our devotion today is called Pulling Weeds. It's found out of Colossians chapter 3, verse 5. And the Bible says, Mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affection, evil, concupiscence, and covetousness, which is idolatry. <clears throat> Anyone who has ever had a garden knows about the ongoing, continuing, never-ending battle with weeds. Whether you're growing flowers or vegetables, these unwanted plants compete for water and nutrients in the soil from which you wish to grow. So what do we do? We pull the weeds. Now, is it a one-time thing? No, not at all. It's a continual process because wind carries new seeds into your garden, hidden roots beneath the surface spring up. Birds drop seeds onto the ground as they pass. You don't get rid of the weeds just one time. It's a continual process. The only alternative to a weed-filled garden that does not produce as it should is constant attention to pulling weeds. The same thing is true in the Christian life. God calls us to be fruitful and productive. For him, in order to do that, we must not allow sin to grow up and choke out the fruit of the Spirit. Though salvation is once for all, the war against sin in our life is an ongoing process. The old Puritan John Owen said, be killing sin or it will be killing you. The old sinful nature we have does not leave when we are saved, and it furnishes fertile ground for sin to take root if we let down our guard. God calls us to mortify, which means to put to death or put away the sins that try to creep back into our lives. This command only makes sense in the light of verse 3 of the same chapter. For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Christ. When we remember that our old nature is effectively dead, it has no power to control us, and that Christ himself is our life, we then have the understanding and motivation to say no to sin and yes to Christ. Rather than tolerating sin in our lives, we must ruthlessly kill every weed as soon as it appears. I'm thankful for the day of salvation when my old man passed away and the new man came. But unfortunately, until we get to heaven, the old man is still present. We still have uh, this thing called flesh and, and our flesh stinks. And uh, maybe there's something in our lives today that God is pointing out that's saying, hey, you got to pull that weed out uh, in order for me to help you grow spiritually, in order for me to help you have spiritual fruit. So I would encourage you take take some time today, examine uh, yourselves and see maybe where God is pointing some things out to you where you can improve in order to have a, a more fruitful walk with him or a more spiritual growth with somebody else. And uh, thank you. I hope this was a blessing. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for dying for us. I pray it was a blessing to somebody in Jesus name. Amen.